The attempt to kick out Lesotho's Prime Minister, Dr. Moiketsi Majoro, through a motion of no confidence has been withdrawn. The leader of a splinter party, Tefo uh, Mapesela, had suggested that the former Deputy Prime Minister, Munyanim Mulaleki's name, uh, be put forward as Prime Minister if the motion was to succeed. Well, Lesotho will be going through national elections later this year in September. Much developments have taken place since some members of parliament desperately wanted the Prime Minister chucked out of office. The vote of no confidence against the Prime Minister heavily relied on the court successfully granting an option to use a secret ballot. Well, that window has been shut and those pushing for that motion now face a new quagmire. <laughs> ABC MPs on a last-minute caucus to wade off an imminent vote of no confidence against their boss. Mr. Speaker! With a few months left before the general elections, an attempt to send a sitting Prime Minister Peking hits an iceberg. And I therefore say, Your Excellency, I'm fully aware that this motion as a whole is about the fall of the Prime Minister. The intention is to strike him, just temporarily. <laughs> <laughs> Member of Parliament Mapesela says that the motion of confidence has been withdrawn, but temporarily. He explains why. What I want to do is just to get this motion right. It doesn't mean that uh, the motion will not come into the House. If in next two weeks we stay, the motion can come into the House. But I have to go to my allies properly and lobby properly. So if my allies uh, ask me to, to just wait a bit so that uh, we cannot miss the Prime Minister. Mapesela left the ruling ABC and formed a splinter party citing dissatisfaction to the Prime Minister. He says the recent leadership rejection on the Prime Minister was a clear sign from his own party to vacate the high office. We want him out of the Prime Ministership and led it to the leader of the new part, the party now, the new leader Kabi now to lead the, the government. What is your interest in ABC matters? ABC matters are the matters of the country because they are the ruling party. Any wrongdoing they are doing, they, are, they affect me as a citizen of the land. The Prime Minister Dr. Majoro and both the leader of opposition Munyan Muleleki suggested as a possible replacement did not even bother to show up in Parliament. Whether the Prime Minister can survive the remainder of this term, the next few weeks will be crucial. Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maserole Soudu. Well, for more on this, uh, we're now joined uh, by our correspondent who you've just seen in that report, Rapelang Khadebe. Rapelang, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Um, these elections are due in September. We're practically in March. Why would there be a vote of no confidence five months before the election? Yeah, the tender Yeah. You, you will clearly understand that ABC has gone through so much conflicts, much strife from the time it elected the new deputy leader of the party to pushing the former founder, Prime Minister Tom Tabani, to resign. Uh, and now the battle for the high premier seat um, is the one that is actually raging. Because you will understand that people get to harness lots of state resources to be able to campaign and this is mostly what they are after all right so this is jostling for position for those elections and not really about whether uh, mr majora has done a good job to date absolutely not because you'll understand that in, he, he just lost the leadership battle when it was opened for the leader of abc to actually now assume and he lost it he lost to a junior relatively, the minister that he had actually chucked out of parliament, out, out of cabinet, um, which is Nkakukadi. He was a former minister of health. So he, the followers of Kadi, you'll understand, is almost a 50-50 kind of. Uh, they want him, as a premier as soon as possible, they want him to lead the campaign towards these elections and Majora also says, look, there's so much little time. We are on the same boat. We are pushing for the same ABC. What, what really is the point of pushing me out at this time? 
and he said if you really want to insist you'll have to do it the hard way which is the parliament now the parliament requires a two-thirds majority because at clause that made it possible that you can call for snap elections was actually amended which helped i think big time for the city because otherwise he was just going to use his power as a prime minister to go to the king and say to him i have lost fruit of confidence or i'm about to lose therefore let us dissolve mm. the government and let the people decide who they want but this isn't the first time Majoro's uh, been threatened with a vote of no confidence. I seem to remember June, August last year, we were going through the same thing. Absolutely, you're right. Because remember, he came into power as a compromise candidate because mm. there was such a split as to who will be the lead, who will succeed uh, Tom Tabat when he retired because he retired before his time. And it was a bit of an unusual circumstances, but there, as a compromise, I think that they came together and said Majoro should lead the party at least until elections. But then two years, hardly two years down the line, uh, the actual leadership of the ABC was now opened when Taban said, I'm, I have retired from office of the prime minister. I'm also retiring as the leader of the party. And then it opened way for a legitimate leader to be elected and when he lost from that i think another attempt at him is now is the one that is blowing is it becoming clearer who perhaps are strong names that are starting to rise uh, as people jostle for positions uh, for the elections i want to believe it is much more confusing now Mm. Uh, because since the call for Tom Tabane to, to retire, we've had at least three splits from the same party. You know, the same Mapasela, when, yeah. when he could not chase uh, his allies out, uh, he formed his splinter party. Uh, who was, he who was the leader, deputy leader of ABC, Professor Nkosa Mahao when he could not convince them that he continues to be a successor, he was a deputy leader, one would assume that it would automatically say he would be the candidate to be the leader. That was not happening. He decided to form his own party. It, 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 it got so complicated. Mm. Um, right now, you really don't know who ABC is. Well, there has been legitimate elections which said decisively Gabi is the leader of the ABC, but the question is whether can he really bring them all back together? Can he mm. form some sort of a cohesion that you have one ABC leading? Otherwise, the problem is that it's going to be so difficult that by the time we get to elections, he'll probably just hand over the reins to the opposition. So who's this uh, Monyani Mulaleke that's uh, been suggested by Mapasel? I would want to believe that it was just a random name. Remember, Munyani Muleleki was the deputy prime minister when they formed a coalition with Tom Taban. Uh, the relationship started in around 2015, 2016, I believe. Um, he, he really worked hard. I think that was the time when your medicine and others had skipped the country. To, he, he tried to forge some sort of peace because the reforms were now taking shape, Munyana Muleleke uh, was able to, to convince them to become the deputy prime minister. But they also had a fallout, and he was also chucked from the position. He, he was just a few, literally a few weeks before qualifying for the benefits of the deputy prime minister. When he, so I, I think by he would be the most convenient person to try and attempt mm -hmm. and finish the term, I think also trying to get an opportunity to at least uh, get a shot at re restoring his benefits as a deputy prime minister. Otherwise, he might forfeit them if he doesn't get a shot at yeah. this. But looking at the numbers, how split and divided that parliament is, it, it becomes very complex and difficult, I think, to try and see whether Mapasela can actually convince, as he says he's going to lobby, he's very convinced and he says, as early as next Tuesday, 
he just needs to go and, uh, and, and talk to his allies and, make, and to convince them to vote with him. Uh, the, the now leader, Kabi, is also looking at the position. It might be a last shot of him uh, assuming that possibility because if they go to the elections as split as they are, there's a big chance that he actually might not make the numbers and hand over the government to the opposition, which looks relatively solid. Uh, they have composed mm. well enough uh, and not as many complications in their party. So it would look like an easy route for them to grab power. So why was the motion of no confidence withdrawn? Is it withdrawn or just delayed in your view? Um, he, he clearly checked and saw that he did not have enough numbers and he decided to withdraw temporarily. Remember, he, when he put the motion, he had actually insisted to the Speaker of Parliament that he wants a secret ballot because he believed that a lot of supporters who are in government may not want to come out in the open, you know, to vote against the party lines. Uh, but the speaker threw that and said he needs to go to court. At court, it was thrown out of court and said those are parliamentary issues. They need to be resolved in parliament. So when he lost um, the motion for a secret ballot, he realized very quickly that you, he wouldn't have as many numbers that would come out and he might need to actually take a step back to go and see whether he really has enough numbers that can topple. Remember, it's now much difficult because he needs a two-thirds majority for, for the vote to go through. Tom Tabane has got his own issues that he has to deal with, um, uh, legal drama uh, that's still on his table. But is his faction still in the mix, as it were? And does he enjoy some influence in all of the uh, uh, political machinations that are, are taking place? He does actually amass a lot of power because if he really, this is my view, if he really mm. wanted Majoro to move on as his successor, I, I think he would have wielded his power such that he throws his support towards him. But you could read between the lines that Tabi was becoming a much more preferred candidate because there was a complaint that Majoro was not playing by the book. And the question would be, uh, is it because they wanted someone who can actually be in a position to cover him such that when some of his woes come to front, the court battles and stuff, he knows he's got somebody in the seat who can actually uh, play defense for him? Or is it because he saw much more potential with Tabi? Uh, also, what we need to consider is that his wife, is also trying to get into mm -hmm. the game. And one of the reasons Mahathir, I think, is so adamant is because they are actually contesting one constituency with the wife mm -hmm. of, the, of the Prime Minister. And chances are he would not stand against her um, if they were going to go head to head. That is why he had to form his own splinter party such that he is to, he's totally detached and separate from, SA, from ABC. So we, there's a lot at play because if you factor in the prime minister's wife, who looks like she's on a campaign train looking at her movements recently, uh, she is up to some sort of power looking. So the question is whether uh, can, can we consider her uh, at least maybe as a deputy at some mm -hmm. point, uh, what influence can him find if he seems to appease uh, towards the, the, the former Prime Minister Tom Chavani. It, it's a lot at stake. All right. We, just as we wrap, um, Lesotho has been pretty volatile over the years and there's been instability um, at a time when the parties were less split. I just wonder, as this all plays out, is there a fear that this could have greater consequences. The army and the police at the moment seem to be watching from the background, but they've been um, actors that have not been afraid to step forward uh, at times. Yeah, look, let, let's be honest. I think the role that Sadak played into 
really nudging Lesotho towards the reforms, it has played a big role, such that it has sort of drawn a distinction. The military is staying in its lane, the police also trying their level best not to meddle in politics. It has sort of neutralized. There's been a few good things that has happened, like the one that the Prime Minister can no longer unilaterally just call for snap elections. He needs to consult Parliament. This sort of uh, breaks down that tension uh, because the rate at which the reforms are now being implemented into Parliament, if, if that is the momentum that can actually keep building, the, it, 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 it sort of solves a lot of, lots of problems that, such that post-elections conflict are minimized to some extent. I think the role that Sadak has played is now beginning to yield results. People are just politicking. You can see that in as much as there's tension and stuff, but it's, it's more of politicking than squabbles that could actually end up to people physically made, maybe manhandling each other. It, it looks like there's a glimmer of hope that it cannot get blood, if one may say. All right. Rabelang, as always, your insights and what's happening in Lesotho always greatly appreciated. Thank you very much indeed. All right, that's our correspondent in uh, Lesotho, Rapelang Khadebe. Uh, the Prime Minister, well, he was to face another motion of no confidence, uh, but this was withdrawn, and uh, so we wait and see as uh, the political situation there looks pretty unstable at this stage as the country works its way towards elections.